Even if you have a great relationship with your boss, it can be tough to bring up the topic of a pay increase without yourself feeling awkward or without you thinking you're gonna make your boss awkward um, or uncomfortable. But fear not, I'm here to help you as best I can. What to consider first of all? So the first thing to consider is your career goals. Ask yourself if you're happy with your job currently beyond just the salary. Is your employer supporting your growth and your development? Do you enjoy your work or do you dread going to work on a Monday morning? Once you've determined your goals, it's time to develop a plan for achieving them. This may involve looking for a new job, or it may mean staying put and talking to your boss about what it is you really want. When you do have that conversation with your boss, it's important to be honest and also be willing to compromise. Make sure you have concrete evidence of your hard work, such as a presentation that highlights your achievements over the past year. This will help your boss understand reasoning and it will also give you the confidence to initiate a conversation. Do your research. First off, you have to know your worth. Are you a long-term employee or a newbie? Because let's face it, we all know that newbies get paid more than long-term employees. Um, unfortunately, that is the case. And Labour IQ, they actually conducted a study to test this theory. They surveyed 20,000 different job titles and found something pretty interesting. New hires are making an average of 7% more than the current employees in pretty much similar positions. Can you really believe that? And if you're in the tech or the finance world, it gets even crazier. The pay gap for in-demand jobs can stretch up to 20%, and that's a massive difference, right? It definitely makes you wonder why certain companies are willing to pay new hires so much more than the people who have been loyal to them for years. But there are resources out there to help you figure out what your salary should be. You can get advice from your recruiter, who knows the tech industry, to use an online benchmark tool. You should always get advice from your recruiter also, who will know the tech industry and, that, and you can use as an online benchmark tool also. Now here's another thing to think about. What's a business's performance like? Are they doing well? Are they struggling to keep their, to keep their heads above the water? Let's be real, I think it might not be the best time to go and ask for a pay rise if things aren't going so great with the company. But if you are committed to the company and you're willing to ride out the tough times, it's important to have the conversation with your boss. Let them know, understand the situation, or you understand the current situation, and you're willing to work hard to help your company get back on its feet. And hey, maybe you can even negotiate a raise down the line if you stick it out together. Preparing for the pay rise conversation. When it comes to asking for a pay rise, it's important to be prepared. Here are just some of the tips to help get you started. Identify the reason you deserve the pay rise in the first place. When it comes to asking for a pay rise, it's important to be prepared. And here are some of the tips to help get you started. First of all, identify the reason why you deserve this pay rise in the first place, along with evidence to support each reason. Be clear about what you want, be realistic also about what you want, and show that this salary request is first of all competitive. You shouldn't worry as long as you've completed the steps one and two. As a result of your research, you should be able to demonstrate that the request is fair. Pay rise discussions should not become personal this is not the time to air any grievances you may have. Don't be afraid to negotiate. You might get a lower raise offer, maybe not during the meeting, but after the review is done. Stick to your guns if you don't think that this is fair. So in the event that you do not receive the pay rise, what should you do? So, so let's talk about what happens when your request for a pay rise is blocked or denied. It can definitely be a tough pill to swallow. Um, you may feel angry um, or resentful um, at the company or, or your superior, um, like you're being taken advantage of almost. But here's the thing, you're probably not the only one feeling this way within your organization. It's important to remember to stay respectful, manage your emotions when dealing with these situations. You don't want to damage your relationship with your boss or colleagues over a pay rise. Why am I shouting at it? It could be that your boss is dealing with budget constraints and that, and that he may not be able to increase your salary right away. In this case, be willing to compromise. Compromise could result in you getting your pay rise that's more in line with what you deserve. If your boss is still not satisfied with your pay rise request, it's important to address the issue calmly. 
explain the reasons why you feel you deserve the raise, and be willing to listen to your boss's side of the story. Who knows, maybe there are other opportunities for growth and development and could make up for the lack of pay rise in the short term. At the end of the day, keeping a level head and working together with your boss can go a long way in improving your situation and relationship within the organisation. Confidentiality is essential. So let's talk about confidentiality. When it comes to asking for a raise, it's super, super important to make sure the conversation stays between you and your boss. So here's the deal. If you go and blab about your request to your colleagues, you're not only breaking the trust between you and your boss, but you could also be breaching the employee engagement confidentiality agreement. And trust me, your management will not be thrilled to find that out. Plus, if your colleagues find out you've got a raise, it could cause some tension and resentment in the workplace. So it's best to keep things quiet on the down low and focus on your own personal growth and development. So the bottom line is, Keep the conversation confidential and you'll be building trust and respect with your boss, which can only lead to good things in the future. Remember, always stay positive. Now, you've had the conversation about your pay rise and you've either got what you wanted or you haven't. If you did, that's fantastic. Keep that positive energy going and show your boss that they made the right decision. But if you didn't get the raise you were hoping for, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. The important thing is to keep a positive attitude and not let the disappointment get the better of you. You never know, you might be getting other opportunities to get the raise in the future. But if you feel like it's time to move on, then that's absolutely fine too. Just be sure to leave on a good note with your boss and colleagues. You never know when your paths might cross again. So it's always good to keep a good reputation. If you're interested in any more career advice, hiring tips or the latest videos in the tech world, make sure you subscribe to our channel and give the video a like.